Hey everybody, Sarah at Nova Motorcycles. This week uh, we have a couple of uh, 70s era, I say that loosely, but 70s era Japanese four-cylinder motorcycles. A Honda CB650 and a Suzuki GS1100. The 1100 is actually early 80s, but it's designed really similar to what they did in the 70s. Uh, so we thought we might just point out some kind of cool differences in uh, how the motors are laid out. Um, they're both inline fours. They're both what became uh, to be known as the universal Japanese motorcycle, which is just an across the frame, four cylinder overhead cam of some sort motor. Um, you'll see this one here is the Suzuki. This is a double overhead cam motor. Uh, that means that two camshafts sitting in the top of the head. This one uh, is definitely of an 80s vintage because uh, you can see that there are two valves per cylinder. You've heard of that, you know, Bikes will cut bikes in cars, call it a 16 valve motor, four cylinders, four valves per cylinder, 16 valves. Um, much more advanced design than, than, than the, their 70s version. The 70s Suzuki was also double overhead cam, but had two valves per cylinder. Um, but other than that, very similar to what they were doing, you'll see that the Honda has just one camshaft. This is called the single overhead cam or SOHC. Uh, Ford had some motors that were famous for these. Um, that was a big upgrade from the pushrod motors that the, the American cars were still selling to this day. Um, but uh, in the 70s, this was getting uh, kind of long in the tooth. This was the design of the 1969 CB750, which we've talked about changed the world of uh, production motorcycles and started the superbike era, uh, or it was a big part of starting the superbike era. By 1979, 80, when this bike came out, it was it was getting old. Uh, and then 79 Honda made their own double overhead cam motor that that superseded it. Uh, but it was tried and true. It's really simple. It changes, spins this, spins this cam, uh, rotates, hits these rockers, valves open and close, and um, and the, and it makes good power. Uh, the CB650 was actually an extended, uh, basically the factory's way of stretching out the single overhead cam design. Uh, for the smaller motors. It was their CB550, which if you're into the vintage world, you, you either have one or you have a friend who has one. Great bikes. Uh, the CB650, they just took it, they, they stroked it a little bit, they bored it a little bit, they made a much more efficient cylinder head, bigger valves, they unmasked the valves, the ports are more efficient, and the cam is a little bit hot rotted. So uh, if you have a CB550, get one of these cams, drop it in your motor, you're good to go. Um, so it's a cool bike, it really, um, it really did a lot. But long in the tooth for its time, and, and was, was getting, getting, uh, getting superseded by these guys and by Honda doing their own thing themselves. Um, now, kind of bridging from the, this, these, these, both these motors kind of bridge errors, era, eras. This is kind of a holdover. This was kind of the beginning of the actual muscle bike era. You know, we get from super bikes, we said in some of our earlier videos, super bikes are bikes that could easily break 100 miles an hour. They were 750cc and above. Uh, they they were, were fast, you know, powerful, didn't really handle well kind of thing. This is getting into kind of the ridiculous superbike era. 1,100 cc's, uh, four valves per cylinder, tons of horsepower. Again, with this stupidly under, underwhelming frame and, and, and brakes to deal with it. But you kind of, you have, there's a direct line of these kind of big bikes into things like the V-Max. Uh, and, uh, you know, that ends up in, down the road and things like the Harley V-Rod and drag bikes and stuff like that. So um, these were immensely popular for drag racing. Really fast, only in a straight line. Um, so, yeah. So... Just some kind of detail differences, detail interest things on uh, interesting things on these kind of this era of 70s bikes. Both of these machines are the ancestors of every super bike we see today: Yamaha R1, Suzuki GSX R1000, MV Agusta F4s, all that stuff. They started with these guys. So, um, so yeah. Let us know your favorite uh, UJM if you have one, and uh, if you're riding a sport bike today, let us know what you're riding in the comments, and please like and subscribe.